Lights dim, and the familiar hum of a television set comes to life. It's that magical moment when pixels turn into stories, and time seems to slow as you're transported back to that golden era. Ah, uh, yes, the 1980s, a time of big hair, neon colors, and, of course, the unforgettable TV series that etched their mark in our hearts. And speaking of etching marks, remember the first time you encountered that furry extraterrestrial creature with a penchant for chaos? And lasagna. That's right, Alf sauntered into our lives in 1986, bringing a blend of intergalactic hilarity and warm life lessons. Cast your mind back to the innocent days when you tuned into ALF's misadventures with a curious mixture of amusement and incredulity. From the wacky escapades of the Tanner family trying to conceal their alien houseguest to ALF's insatiable appetite for, well, pretty much everything edible, there was an inexplicable charm that made this series an instant classic. Picture it, the wisecracks that never seem to dry up, the extraterrestrial innocence clashing hilariously with human norms, and the moments that left you laughing, shaking your head, and possibly questioning the true origins of your own family pet. Remember that one episode that had you in stitches for days? Was it ALF's close encounter with a vacuum cleaner, or perhaps the time he decided to host a radio talk show, unwittingly revealing the most peculiar alien insights? But hey, before we dive deeper into the quirky universe of ALF, let's take a journey together and uncover some mind-boggling trivia about the show. Ever wondered about the behind-the-scenes stories that shaped those unforgettable moments? Or the curious coincidences that gave rise to some of the show's quirkiest plot twists? Buckle up, because we're about to unearth a treasure trove of random facts that will have you seeing ALF in a whole new light. So, dear reader, as we embark on this nostalgic expedition, be prepared to dust off those memories, chuckle at the interstellar absurdity, and maybe even get a hankering for a plate of lasagna. Because when it comes to ALF, it's not just about a TV series, it's about a time, a feeling, and a piece of pop culture that continues to tickle our funny bones even decades later. Get ready to be wowed by the hidden gems and quirky anecdotes that breathed life into ALF, all while revisiting the giggles and surprises that made the show an unforgettable part of your past. Let's journey back, shall we? And now, without further ado, let's lift the curtain on some captivating and little-known facts about ALF. But don't worry, I promise not to spill the lasagna secrets. Just yet. Tensions behind the laughter, untold struggles on the set of ALF amidst the laughter echoing from the on-screen antics of the lovable extraterrestrial ALF. A different story was unfolding behind the scenes. The 1986 TV series, known for its quirky humor and alien in residence premise, harbored a simmering tension among its cast due to the show's unique technical demands. To maintain an air of mystery and safeguard the show's secrets, ALF was taped on a closed studio set, devoid of a live audience. The absence of immediate audience reactions, a staple of traditional sitcoms, prompted the use of a laugh track to simulate the presence of a lively crowd. This clever deception aimed to sustain the illusion of a live recording, a hallmark of sitcom authenticity. Yet, this innovative approach came at a cost. The show's technical complexities translated into grueling shooting schedules, leaving actors Max Wright and Anne Skedding, among others, grappling with long hours on set. The inherent challenge of sharing the limelight with a puppet star further exacerbated the strain. Alf, the charismatic, wisecracking alien, consistently delivered the best lines, relegating the human cast to supporting roles that occasionally bred resentment. Over the years since its cancellation, both Wright and Skedding have opened up about the behind-the-scenes struggles. Their candid accounts shed light on the sacrifices made to bring the alien sitcom to life. From enduring extended shoots to surrendering the spotlight to an inanimate yet scene-stealing puppet, the show's quirky humor masked an undercurrent of professional strife. The intersection of technical innovation, unconventional casting dynamics, and comedic brilliance paints a multi-dimensional portrait of ALF that transcends the surface-level chuckles. Beyond the laughs, it serves as a reminder that the entertainment we cherish is often forged in the crucible of creativity, compromise, and the pursuit of a shared vision. Max Wright's Swift Exit, a curious tale from the set of ALF in the annals of television history. Few shows have left as indelible a mark as the beloved 1986 series ALF. Yet, behind the laughter and heartwarming moments, a curious incident involving Max Wright, who portrayed the beleaguered Willie Tanner, adds a layer of intrigue to the show's legacy. 
As the final curtain fell on ALF's production in the spring of 1990, uncertainty hung in the air. The fate of the show remained up in the air, leaving the cast and crew pondering their future. It was in this precarious atmosphere that Max Wright, weary of his role as Willie Tanner, seized a moment that would become a footnote in ALF's storied history. Upon the completion of the last day of taping, Wright's actions took a swift turn. In a move that surprised many, he promptly cleared out his dressing room, leaving the studio without bidding adieu to his fellow cast members or the dedicated crew that had brought Alf to life. The abruptness of his departure raised eyebrows and fueled speculation about his feelings towards the show. However, as accounts suggest, Wright's hasty exit might have been a manifestation of his eagerness to move on from the role that had come to define him. The pressures of playing the exasperated patriarch and the relentless schedule could have worn on him, pushing him towards a quick departure. Yet, as time passed, the cast's future remained uncertain. The ultimate fate of Alf had yet to be decided. The show's possible renewal loomed as a question mark, making Wright's swift exit a curious moment in hindsight. Did he sense the show's impending conclusion, or was his departure merely an expression of personal relief? While ALF's eight stomachs might be a fascinating tidbit, it's Max Wright's rapid departure that adds a layer of intrigue to the show's history. In the world of television, where personalities and plot lines intersect, the tale of Max Wright's quick exit remains a curious chapter, hinting at the complexities that often lie beneath the surface of our favorite shows. ALF, the Malmatian holidays and currencies revealed in the annals of television history, few characters have left as indelible a mark as Gordon Shumway, better known as ALF the wise cracking, cat-chasing extraterrestrial from the iconic 1986 TV series. While ALF's appetite for trouble and penchant for one-liners entertained audiences, hidden beneath the surface were fascinating nods to the show's creative team. Deep in the zany world of ALF, keen-eyed viewers might have caught references to unique holidays and currencies from his home planet, Melmac. Curiously, these alien holidays and currencies were actually surnames of the show's own crew members. A sly homage by the creators, this subtle touch created an additional layer of connection between the behind-the-scenes team and the fictional universe they brought to life. While the show's quirky premise, a furry extraterrestrial crash landing into the suburban Tanner family's garage, provided ample laughs, its impact transcended the small screen. Ranked an impressive 8 in TV Guide's prestigious list of the 25 greatest sci-fi legends, ALF secured a spot among the genre's elite. This recognition further solidified ALF's place in pop culture history, as it adorned one of three collectible covers, becoming a coveted item for fans and collectors alike. But as every fan knows, producing a television show is no small feat, and ALF was no exception. The series was heralded for its technical complexity, with intricate puppetry and animatronics required to bring ALF to life seamlessly. The extensive taping schedules added to the show's expense, making it one of the most costly 30-minute sitcoms of its time. To offset these substantial production costs, NBC shrewdly licensed the beloved Malmatian to an array of merchandising avenues. From action figures to breakfast cereals, and even an animated spin-off series, ALF's likeness was emblazoned across a plethora of products, allowing NBC to recoup its investment while fans reveled in their extraterrestrial obsession. A legacy of ALF endures, a testament to its timeless humor, and the creative brilliance of its makers. From clever nods to crew members in the form of Malmatian holidays and currencies to its place among sci-fi legends and innovative merchandising strategies, ALF's influence remains imprinted on both television history and the hearts of devoted fans. Tensions flare on the set of ALF, behind the scenes of 1,986 seconds furry extraterrestrial amid the laughter and quirky charm of the hit 1986 TV series ALF. A storm of tension raged behind the scenes during its fourth season. Max Wright, who portrayed the harried patriarch Willie Tanner, found himself in a heated confrontation with the titular character's puppet. Witnesses report that during a particularly trying moment on set, Wright's frustration boiled over. 
With an exasperated cry, he pointed at the elf puppet and exclaimed, Put us all on sticks. We're all puppets. This unexpected outburst shed light on the simmering pressure that often accompanies the production of beloved shows. Alf, which followed the misadventures of an extraterrestrial creature named Gordon Shumway who crash-landed in the Tanner family's garage, had captivated audiences with its zany humor and heartwarming moments. Yet, beneath the surface, tensions bubbled as the show navigated its fourth season. The clash between Max Wright and the elf puppet revealed the challenges faced by actors working alongside non-human characters, especially in the pre-digital era. The demanding shooting schedules, technical glitches, and tight confines of sitcom production can stretch even the most patient actors to their limits. While the show's cast and crew managed to maintain their professionalism and continue creating the beloved series, this incident underscored the human side of the entertainment industry. In the realm of TV magic, where talking puppets interact with humans, real emotions and frustrations can often intertwine with fictional narratives. ALF may have ultimately wrapped up its original run in 1990, but the stories of what happened behind the camera continue to intrigue fans and shed light on the complexities of television production. From the endearing alien who loved to devour cats to the challenges faced by the actors who brought the Tanner family to life. The show remains a piece of pop culture history that is as fascinating off-screen as it was on. As fans revisit the quirky world of ALF, they are reminded that even in the most comedic and lighthearted settings, real human experiences and emotions shape the final product. The tension-filled moment between Max Wright and the ALF puppet serves as a reminder that every show, no matter how whimsical, is a labor of love that involves the delicate interplay between scripted lines and unscripted emotions. In the grand tapestry of television lore, ALF stands as a reminder that every laugh, every tear, and every outburst contribute to the magic that unfolds on screen. And while the cameras may stop rolling, the stories of those who brought these characters to life continue to add depth and nuance to our understanding of the shows we cherish. As we bid adieu to the whimsical world of ALF, let's take a moment to reflect on the cosmic connections it wove into our lives. Like a comet streaking across the television landscape of 1986, ALF crash-landed into our hearts with a blend of quirky humor and heartwarming moments that defy the boundaries of time. Remember those late-night giggles as we watched ALF's attempts at acclimating to earthly ways. The hilarious escapades and the equally heart-tugging moments that revealed the depth of his character. Each episode was a constellation of memories, twinkling in the vast universe of our shared experiences. So, dear friend, as you traverse your own cosmic journey through time and space, take a moment to relish the connection you share with ALF. What did the show mean to you? Did it ignite your love for the unknown? Did ALF's antics teach you that being different is something to celebrate? Or perhaps, it's simply that infectious laughter that echoes in your mind whenever you think of the furry extraterrestrial. Now, I invite you to join in a celestial symphony of nostalgia. Share your cherished memories, your quirkiest quotes, your thoughts that are as colorful as ALF's taste in fashion. Let's create a constellation of remembrance, a tribute to a show that sparked our imagination and kindled our collective spirit. Thank you for journeying through time and space with me, dear traveler. Your interest and curiosity are the fuel that propels us into new realms of thought and creativity. So, raise a cup of your favorite beverage to the stars, to ALF, and to the shared moments that make life extraordinary. And as we bid farewell for now, always remember, life's an adventure, and laughter is the stardust that makes it truly shine.